Today we're going to be showing you how to use the handy hangers to professionally finish the project that you've been working on for so long. The very first thing that you want to do is to flux the hanger. You want to very generously flux the hanger both sides. Then take your heated iron and a little bit of solder on the tip of the iron and lay it down on the hanger. It takes quite a bit of heat, so let the iron just rest on the hanger until you see it start to flow. You want to get all sides covered with the solder. This is called tinning. And you can see there was so much flux on this that it's actually gone ahead and gone through to the back side. Just make sure that you get the sides, the flat side, and even around the top. You want to make sure that it all gets very evenly covered. If, when you're tinning the hanger, it gets in the hole, that's all right. Just put your iron on the back side and let it fall through so that you, the hole is open again. Once it's done, it is very warm. You want to set it aside to cool. When you're actually framing your panel, you're going to want to run the size of your zinc, the length of your panel. You want the top and the bottom pieces of zinc to fit inside the sides. What happens is that once you solder your joints, you're basically forming a cradle so that when the hangers are at the top, the weight is distributed through the whole thing. You're not just pulling and hanging off of one piece of zinc at the top. This makes it much stronger. Once your panel has been soldered at the corners, then you're going to want to turn it up on its side, flux down into the channel, take a little bit of solder on your iron, put your iron down into the channel with a little bit of solder. Now the iron tip that I'm using is a 3 16th width tip. It will fit most all zinc, half inch, three eighths, all of those. Then take your cooled hanger and insert it into the channel all the way to the eye. Take your soldering iron with a little bit more flux, lay it in there until everything sweats together and then it's on. Once the, it's cooled just a little bit, you might want to cover the top hole for aesthetic purposes, just to help it look a little bit better. You want to flux across the top of the opening. Then holding your solder, take your iron, put a little bit of solder on the iron tip and pull it across the opening. You're gonna fill in this hole. It's gonna take several times doing this, you do not want to let your iron rest on there. Just pull it across until you have the whole hole filled. Now, in doing this, sometimes you might have a little runoff. It might, either on either side, you might have a little overflow. If that happens, just lay it down and take your iron and blend that overflow into your seam so you have a nice finished product. Handy hangers have been designed to fit all U-channel zinc from quarter inch, three-eighths, half inch, and up. One of the good things about the design of the handy hanger is once you have your panel finished and you have the handy hanger attached, you can take jack chain and spread the link a little bit. And instead of having to use an S-hook, you can actually use the last chain in the jack chain to be your S-hook. So there's your chain and it's ready to hang.